right, it's Melly and I'm back today. I'm doing a collab with my friend Liv. Liv loves her makeup. I will link her below. This is a 20 under 20 collab. Last time I did a 10 under 10 collab. And most of these items are actually way under $20 with the exception of maybe two items. I love Liv so much, so I'm so glad she agreed to do this collab once again. I hope you guys love this collab as much as I do. And I hope you guys will go watch Liv's channel. And if you're from Liv's channel, welcome. Thank you for giving this video a chance, and thank you for being here. Have a, I hope everyone has a great day. Okay, let's get started with the first item. The first item, you guys, is this Milani palette. Guys, I love these palettes. They came out from Milani. They are very well pigmented, with the exception of maybe maybe two or three palettes, which I don't have. But the two that I do have, which is the Bare Necessities and then the uh, Rust Color one, are so pigmented, so creamy, so smooth. And so easy to use. I love this one. Bare Necessities, which is number two, gives you a natural eye look. It's very pigmented. It's very blendable. Very usable. I just, I love this palette. And it's only 10 bucks, you guys. 10 bucks. You can't go wrong. Okay, guys. On to the next one. The next one is one of my favorites. And the next one is a classic. And many people rave about this on YouTube. This is Wet n Wild's Comfort Salt. Okay. This shade right here. In the corner is um this one right here is a dupe for many high-end eyeshadows urban decay uh solstice many muas um it's a uh, this is a dupe for many muas um so, um insomnia 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 sorry guys uh also uh color pops uh kindness which coffee break with danny created and there was a MAC shadow, but I cannot remember the name of it, but this is a dupe for it. This has that same green uh, dual reflective color to it, like all of those shadows that I just listed. It's by far one of my favorite shadows I actually own, and it's from the drugstore. So this whole palette right here, I think, ranges about five to six bucks. Along with some of these other shadows, there are other shadows in here that... um. If I'm not mistaken, I think this one right here is Max Creme Brulee. Um, there are many other shadows in here that are dupes for high-end shadows, you guys. So this is a palette to grab and, and keep in your collection. You never know when you're going to need this palette or can use it. It's just one of those type of palettes. It's called Comfort Zone. The next palette um, I have right here is Carly Bible's uh, palette. Okay, BH Cosmetics. Their collabs are some of the best palettes they have on the market by far. You cannot get better BH Cosmetic palettes but the collabs. Like, the collabs are, like, the greatest. Like, oh, excuse me. They have good palettes, you guys, but these, the collab palettes are the best palettes. My favorite is not because the shadows, because the shadows are great. They're awesome. But these highlights are like high-end highlights, dude. Like, they are off-the-chain highlights. Like, these are uh, so good. Like, they're, like, they're Jaclyn Hill, Becca, um, uh, Jeffree Star highlight good. That's how good they are. Carly did such a great job when she created this palette. She did an awesome job on these highlights. And they range from super light to really dark right here which on my skin i could use as a bronzer on darker skin this would be a great highlight at the end so this is such an awesome palette so pigmented so easy to use it's just really really great palette in my opinion the next is one of my favorite beach uh, uh, cosmetic palettes just a regular palette that they have done and the reason it's my favorite is because of these two shades right here this is a contour ash gray taupe kind of contour it's really good for uh contouring this is a bronzer this is really good for bronzing up your face neither one of these are super orange like they don't go overboard with the orange and they um beach does have this this is the light one but they also have a dark one and then i think it's the light medium and dark if i'm not mistaken and this blush it's a nice coral pink blush it's so pretty i love this blush it's one of my favorites and those powders are blendable, easy to use, creams, like, they're not cream, but they are soft and smooth and easy to wear, in case you were wondering. And either palette, the Carly Bible one or 
the uh, Forever Nude uh, Sculpting Glow Palette. Okay, guys, the next is my favorite. This is one of my favorite drugstore setting powders. This is the Fit Me Matte Poreless by Maybelline Translucent 100. Uh, you have to have a light hand when you use this because it can go really, um, oh, I cannot think of the word, you guys. This can go really thick, really fast on your skin and can give you a powdery look. But if you go really light with it and just dust it over your face with a big fluffy brush, it will help set your makeup and it will help keep you matte. It's really good. And I especially love the translucent one for setting underneath the eyes. I like that. It just depends on which concealer you use it with. But um, most of the time it's pretty good for setting underneath the eyes. And I will have all of the prices of these items listed below. My next fave is the Physician's Formula. Uh, this is the, what is this? The Warm Nude Highlighter. This is what I call that. That's the Warm Nude Highlighter. And the reason I'm holding like this is because the pan came unglued, so it's loose in there. Uh, but this is a really nice highlight. It can give you a really nice natural highlight, really soft pink highlight, really gold highlight, or really bronzy highlight. Or um, how I heard about this was from Sam Sherman. She was using this as a eyeshadow palette, and that's originally what I bought it for. And then I realized it was a highlight palette. Uh, but it's really good for an eyeshadow palette, too, if you want a glowy, summery, like, bronzy, gold look. That is really good for this. And this is by Precision's Formula. So um, usually check out Ulta because they have buy one, get one half off most of the time on their products. And then um, in the back here, it tells you how to uh, use the highlighters. And it gives you a mirror. And I think there was a brush in here. I don't remember. But this packaging overall, too, is so super cute. I love the little ribbon on it. This is just one of my favorite drugstore highlights. Like, this is off the charts. One of the best highlights in the drugstore, in my opinion. And the next thing I'm going to talk about is this Butter Bronzer by um, Physicians Formula. It's Judy Time actually got me hooked onto the original bronzer, like the uh, by Physicians Formula, the original one that comes in a little brownish gold compact. But uh, everybody was saying that they were loving this this season, and I was hesitant to buy this because the Argan Oil one sucked. Like the smell would not leave that Argan Oil one. It feels like cream when you touch it, but when you apply it to your face, it gives you almost like a powder look. And it really, and this is the bronze one, this is not the light one, this is the bronze one. So for me, this actually gives me a nice ash contour, which is one of my favorite contours, the uh, powders to do, because it makes you look like you have a shadow there. It doesn't look like you really have like a deep, strong contour there. It's like, just like a shadow, almost like where the sun would actually hit you. Um, so I love this for that fact. Um... And this is just such a really nice, it smells so good in my opinion, and I love that too. Like, it's not overwhelming where I have a headache. And after you apply it, the smell does go away. It doesn't linger on your face like the Argan Oil one. But it's very similar to the Physicians Formula one. It's this bronzer by ColourPop. It's the poolside one. The poolside one is the one you want, not the other bronzers, because the other bronzers will go orange fast on you. This one... Uh, gives you a glowy look and you can kind of contour with it So if you really don't want to contour, but you want a bronze look and you're gonna do a semi contour a very soft contour This is the bronzer to go with this is by poolside The only thing about ColourPop is that because of their formula you do have to build the product up because it's um, They tell you to use your fingers with it. I don't like using my fingers So when you're using a brush you have to build the product up but it lays really nice on the skin. It stays all day, which is one of my favorite things about that bronzer. And it's just an awesome bronzer. The next thing I have is this um, Coral Cove by Milani. Guys, this is a really nice coral color. They have several other ones. There's the tea rose one, and then there's another one. These are the rose. I don't know if you guys can see that. These are the rose uh, blushes. This is such a pretty summer coral uh, blush. You have to be very careful because you can go really heavy handed really fast with this blush. Um, they do kick up dust though. They are really powdery but they are really nice blushes and they do last all day. Um, the Revlon Frozen Ready Airbrush Effect Foundation. This does have shimmers in it. You will see glitter, glitter, almost glitter like particles on your skin you guys. 
but that's only if you have a mirror like right here in your face and you're looking at your face when you're out in the sunlight you don't notice the flecks of glitter at all the the sunlight is reflected off of them so your face just looks flawless with this foundation just flawless like it's so pretty it's like you didn't even put foundation on and it's great in flash photography i really love that about this foundation it does not make my pores seem larger than what they are another thing i love about this foundation i did a review a long time ago for this foundation so i will try to link it below but this is by far one of my favorite drugstore foundations okay guys we're getting to the final okay guys this is one of my favorite eyeshadow primers this is 20 bucks plus tax this is by MAC. It's a MAC Prep and Prime 24-hour base. This thing lasted me for about a year and two months, you guys. And there was still product in it. I can't get it off. That's how good this Um, But if you go really light with this, this will make your eyeshadow last all along, especially in the summer. Oh, my God. Does this thing work in the summer? It's so good for eyeshadow. Okay. One of my favorite lipsticks in the summer is this Indian. It's, no, it's Party Pink. I also like, I think... What's the, I forget, I think it's Indian pink, I'm not mistaken. They're both by e.l.f. This one has a slight shimmer to it, it's like a coral pink with a hint of shimmer to it. And when you put it on your lips in the summertime, it's just a great, great color. It's creamy, smooth, easy to wear, and it's cheap. You guys, these are like, I think five bucks, maybe seven bucks. They're cheap. Um, and they're comfortable, they're nice, they don't bleed. They don't go where they're not supposed to go. They're like a creamy matte. That sounds crazy, but they're like a creamy matte. Okay, another favorite of mine is the NYX Butter Gloss. I love this gloss, you guys. This is such a comfortable gloss to wear. It's, hey guys, as I was saying, I'm sorry if my camera's shaking. It's the way my house is. Uh, it's not a sticky gloss. It's a very comfortable gloss. It's easy to wear, easy to apply. It's just awesome sauce. Guys, another favorite lipstick of mine, and I will always re recommend this. I recommend this on my top 10. I will recommend this once again. It's the NYX, um, uh, what are these called? NYX Butter Lipsticks. These are such a comfortable lipstick. Very much like the e.l.f. lipstick. They are so pretty. They come in a range of variety of colors. Like, you can get the craziest, wildest purple you want out of these lipsticks, or you can get this, which is like a bubblegum pink. Like, it's a neon pink. Like, these lipsticks are so good, so comfortable, are not streaky, in my opinion. They, you, they apply well. They last all day. Um, If you're not eating or drinking, they last all day. If you're eating and drinking, you get maybe about three, four hour wear out of them. But, guys, these lipsticks are so cheap. They're, like, five, six bucks, and they're so easy to wear. And, like, they have, like, I think 50 different colors. And these lipsticks, you guys. So everybody has a color in this lip lipstick range by NYX. And it's the NYX Butter Lipsticks. These are never, I never hear about anybody speak about these anymore. Um, these are the Sephora Luster Matte Long Wear Lip Color. These, uh, this is Lilac Luster, which is a very neon pink, actually. It's like a bubblegum pink almost. It's not really lilac. Uh, these are $14. They are very comfortable on the lips. Although they say Luster Matte. These don't dry matte. These have a very similar formula to the Tarte ones, but these are more like a liquid lipstick where the Tarte ones are very more, um, <coughs> what do they call it, a mousse texture. These are more of a liquid lipstick texture to them. Uh, if you have the darker colors, you have to be super careful with because if you apply too much of those, those will bleed. But if you use a very little, these go a long way and they do build up. And they do sit on the lips very comfortably, very easy to use. They're just very nice and they sit there very well. So the next thing I'm talking about is um, TARDIS lip paints. These are $20 plus tax, I believe. Um, these are one of my favorite uh, liquid lipsticks on the market right now because they have a mousse texture to them. They give the feeling of looking matte, but they feel really comfortable on the lips. They don't give that cracky feeling. They have like a mousse texture. Very little goes a long way with these. So I tend to actually, when I open them, I tend to scrape the edge on the edge of the bare edge of the opening in here to get some of the lipstick off because a little goes a long way. And these are so comfortable, so easy to apply. I just love these. These are like holy grail status for me. 
Okay, guys, the next thing I'm going to talk about is the matte Maybelline. I don't know if you guys can see that. The Maybelline Master Conceal. Uh, this has a thick consistency to it. You kind of have to put it on your skin and warm it up a little bit, then apply it underneath the eyes. But the reason I love this is because I wear this in wintertime. In the summertime, do not, if you have oily skin, don't even attempt to wear this. Because in the summertime, it will cause, sink into your uh, wrinkles and cause cakiness underneath the eyes. And I love this in the wintertime, though, because it's nice and thick. Uh, my skin is usually plumped in the winter time from the cold air, so it applies very well, and it hides my dark circles really, really well. That's one of my reasons I love this thing. It's one of my faves. Okay, guys, the next thing, the next favorite of mine is the NYX HD. I'm sorry if you guys can't really see these. I'm trying my best, but this camera I'm using is not one of my favorite cameras. Um, this is the NYX HD Concealer. Uh, and which one did I get this in? This is in Fair, CW2 Fair. This uh, does brighten, super brightens underneath my eyes, but doesn't do well at hiding my um, dark spots. Okay, I have, I think I have like, I'm not sure exactly what I have, but I do believe it's melasma because it flares up when it wants to flare up and I can look really dark. Sometimes like somebody punch me in the eye or it can be really light, but it's always there, you guys. It never leaves, no matter how much water I drink, no matter what I do, it never leaves. Um, this NYX HD concealer does look like it's concealing it at first, but when I go to set it with powder, after it sits there for a little while, you can see the blue lines just coming through. It's almost like I have veins coming through, but I don't. Um, but it does highlight underneath my eyes. And I love this for the summertime because it's, very light, very um, much like the Urban Decay Naked Skin. It's a dupe for that, in my opinion. It's just a really good concealer in the summertime. And uh, I just, I really love it. You can't go wrong with that one. That's been a fave of mine for the last three or four years. Okay, one of my other faves is Halo by Kat Von D. This is a neon orange, guys. And this, I believe, these, these range about 20 to 21 dollars so i am kind of cheating with this but this is such a good neon orange and it has like sparkles in it so it reflects off your lips it kind of reminds me of her liquid version which is a go-go um this is halo though yeah halo this reminds me of a go-go and she also has a go-go in this format but this one halo is much more neon-y and i think if it's because the sparkles in Halo, so when you put it on, it looks almost like you have glitter or highlight on your lips. And it's by far one of my, this is a sample size from Christmas. This is by far one of my favorite Kat Von D lipsticks. And I own practically this entire collection, you guys. And this is one I faves. Okay. The final fave is this one. This is the telescopic L'Oreal uh, Mascara. I am not too fond of many drugstore mascaras. It's very rare for me to like a mascara. But when I heard about this one, everybody and their mama was talking about this in their yearly faves. And I was like, well, if everybody's talking about it. It has to be good, you guys. So, back to this mascara. This mascara is by far one of my favorites because of how it uh, lengthens my eyelashes and kind of spreads them out. It can go clumpy really fast. But usually it just lengthens really nice. And if you're very careful, it lengthens really good, really good, gives you long eyelashes, and it makes you look like you have false lashes. It's one of the best mascaras ever. And this is about 10 bucks, I believe. So guys, that is my 20 top 20. My 20 under 20. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace, love, makeup. As always, all of my favorite YouTubers are listed below. I would love it if you subscribe. But even if you don't, thank you for at least watching this video. And please go watch Liv's video. I will have a link below. Thank you guys. Have a good day. Bye.